the Honor 8X. After a long list of various phones with the Kirin 659 chip, Honor has finally decided to use that new Kirin 710. You know, the one we saw on the Nova 3i. Yeah, that chip. But before we talk about the chip and the specs and all that, let's first unbox the Honor 8X. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get started. If you do end up liking what you see, I kindly request you to please turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. By the way, here's a card to a current giveaway in case you missed it. So here's the box that the Honor 8X comes in. Familiar blue, a little AI marking there. Let's open it up. We first come across the 8X. The back looks nice. Let me remove the stickers. We then have a SIM ejector tool, a quick start guide, a warranty card and a soft case. Given the glass back, I think it's a good move to include a soft case in the box. Now back to the other contents, still micro USB, a 10 watt charger, better than 5 but still not fast enough. So anyway, let's return to the 8X here. The 8X feels elegant in hand, there's a certain heft to it, the metal sides, the glass back, Honor seems to have done a great job with the build quality. The design too is quite nice. The landscape orientation to the back though, we've seen it on other Honor phones, it still does give the 8X a bit of flair, something that's different compared to the rest of the pack. If I had to talk negatives, the glass pack does pick up fingerprints and smudges, but it isn't unique to the Honor 8X, it is just how glass packs are. Number two though, Honor as always does not mention about protection, so no Gorilla Glass here, at least not officially. And finally, micro usb thankfully the headphone jack is present we also find the speaker and primary mic here other placements include the power and volume keys to the right a secondary mic up top a hybrid tray to the left so two sims or one sim and micro sd now to the front the honor 8x has got a 6.5 inch ips lcd panel the aspect ratio here is 19.5 by 9 hence the notch you see up top the resolution is Full HD+, Plus. this display looks really good. The colors are rich, the viewing angles are great, and it is also quite a bright panel. Now, underneath the hood, the Honor 8X is powered by the all-new Kirin 710 chip. Here's a card to a detailed look at the chip, but here's the short version. The CPU, the Kirin 710, it's very capable, it should do better, or it should be comparable to the Snapdragon 660. The GPU, despite GPU Turbo, which Honor is marketing quite extensively, despite that, the Mali G51 MP4 is weaker than its Qualcomm counterpart. That doesn't mean it's bad, it can still run most things smoothly, but it is a point worth mentioning. Now this is coupled with either 4 or 6 gigs of RAM along with 64 or 128 gigs of storage and there is a 3750 mAh battery powering all this. As far as software goes, we've got MUI 8.2 built on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. We've seen this in the past and here on the 8X the performance is smooth. The fingerprint scanner works fast, no complaints. There is support for face unlock and that worked quite well too. There is quite a bit of bloat but thankfully they can be uninstalled. And of course it's MUI so the app draw can be enabled from the settings menu just need to dig in and figure that out. With the camera we now get the AI mode option sadly HDR does continue to be a separate mode. And on the video front while we do get support for full HD at 60 FPS still no 4K. As far as the hardware is concerned, we've got a 20 megapixel rear camera with a f1.8 lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and to the front you get a 16 megapixel f2 selfie shooter. The AI mode is not as in your face as in the past and the fact that it can be toggled off even after you take the shot means it is something I left on all the time and the images did look nice. There's a portrait mode for both cameras too and here are a few more samples. Initial impressions, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now we don't have official pricing from Honor yet, but for what it's worth, I mean for what this phone offers, I don't think it should be priced over 16,000. The Honor sub-brand exists so that they can be aggressive with pricing, Huawei on the other hand is more offline and pre generally priced higher. Now taking into account the fact that Huawei is carrying 710 phone, the Nova 3i currently sells for 18,000 rupees. I would guess that the 8x should start anywhere between 14 to 16,000. Anything more and I feel it's gonna be a tough sell. So there you go, a quick unboxing of the Honor 8x. What do you think should be the right price? Are you looking to get your hands on an 8x? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, 
I guess it is time my video adieu. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you think about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.